adjustment of an ALF. ALF appliance is a light wire functional that will do expansion, usually used in adults. Has three Omega loops, that's a standard ALF. You can do an anterior sagittal ALF that has two extra loops in this area, but this is the most common. Ideally, the only loop that you usually adjust is the anterior loop. These are more like shock absorbers and give you a little bit of flexibility as you place the appliance. So what you wanna do is when you first get the appliance, it will be passive. Take it off of your model. You want to place it on a piece of paper, mark, which I've been doing on this paper, tip of the rest, one side, hold down, mark, tip of the rest, and then it doesn't matter in the front, you can go right at the body wire in the center of the crescent on the cuspid and or by, then mark on the other side. So now I know where the appliance started. <clears throat> so if I overexpand or underexpand, I can go back to the home where it started. First activation, you can either use a flat on flat and or a Jaraback plier. You come inside the Omega. You keep the appliance parallel. Your plier can be crooked. Just keep the appliance parallel to the table. And then as you squeeze, that will activate the bicuspid area. If you notice, the molar area is coming in. So that's your first activation. So put it back on the area where you put your dots. I've activated that probably two and a half, three millimeters. With an ALF, you can go up to five millimeter activation. I'll activate one more time. That has moved it about three and a half, four millimeters. That's probably pretty good. Then you can do two ways to activate this. You can use your index finger and your thumb, keep parallel to the table, and you can pull this out like this, or you can take the Jaraback plier in the loop, squeeze the loop, taking the posterior out. Come to the other side. I like to use the plier, take the posterior out, then I go back to the table. If you notice, I probably overactivated it by about five millimeters. So I wanna show you how to bring it back. Yes, I activated it probably too far by about five. <clears throat> then you come back and take your three jaw right in that same bend, and then you can keep the appliance parallel and you can notice I'm bringing the appliance back to where it came from. Then I'll go back to the paper. I look at my dots. I actually brought that all the way back to original. So you may be a little bit of a learning curve on this. So I'll come back. Twist my wrist to bring that back out. Keep parallel, twist the wrist. Now I'm right at a five millimeter activation. Now when you activate out like this, you, stay, you still have the same rotation on the cribbing crescent. You'll have to come with the three jaw in the cribbing crescent and then derotate just slightly on your molars, pushing just on the back side of the loop to derotate just slightly. This is not quite as much activation as a crozet crib. And then just derotate just slightly. <clears throat> then you flex, place the appliance back in place. Now, a key to this is there's going to be a lot of pressure in the cuspid area. It's a good idea before you seat the appliance, you put a little dot of composite just about two millimeters above the CEJ or cervical junction, and that will help keep the appliance seated. Also, one adjustment that you may have to use 
is if these C clasps are too long, you can come in with a cutter and relieve just by snipping the edges of the C clasp like this. And then it'll make it a little easier to get the crib and crescent onto the cuspid. Then after about a month to two months, have the patient come back in, check your expansion, measure the appliance in the mouth, out of the mouth, and that'll tell you how much load to put on the appliance. If it's fully passive when they come back, you activate an additional four millimeters to five millimeters. If there's only one millimeter of load, <coughs> excuse me, if there's five millimeters of load left on the appliance, then you know they haven't worn the appliance. But if there's one millimeter of load, two millimeter load on the appliance, go ahead and come back and add three to four.